بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم لیوٹیننٹ جنرل محمد چراغ حیدر انسپیکٹر جنرل ٹریننگ اینڈ ویلویشن میجر جنرل افتخار حسن چودھری کمانڈان پاکستان ملٹری اکیڈمی ڈسٹنگوشڈ گیس ریسپیکٹڈ فیکلٹی ممبرز گریجویٹنگ کیڈیٹس لیڈیز اینڈ جنٹلمن السلام علیکم اینڈ گڈ مارننگ It is indeed a great honor and pleasure for me to review this passing out parade. The immaculate turnout, synchronized movements and enthusiasm is reflective of the discipline this great institution has instilled in the gentlemen cadets and the highest standards Pakistan Military Academy has always maintained. Today's parade yet again proves the professionalism superior ethos and glorious traditions of the academy and Pakistan army alike. On this auspicious occasion, I extend my heartiest compliments to the graduating gentlemen cadets, their proud parents, guardians and mentors who have all made relentless efforts to make you see this memorable day. I wish to especially congratulate graduating gentlemen cadets from our brotherly countries of Qatar, Bahrain, Palestine, Iraq and Sri Lanka. I am sure you have not only developed enduring relations of comradeship during your stay here, but will continue to act as ambassadors of Pakistan henceforth. Pakistan Military Academy has undoubtedly remained the cradle of leadership and center of excellence for cadets joining this premier institution from within and from across the world. My appreciations to the award winners and the champion company who deserve special recognition and applause for their outstanding achievements. Well done and keep it up. Dear cadets, this day marks the end of your training at the academy and also the beginning of a new chapter of your professional career. On this auspicious occasion of your commissioning, I want to urge that you must remain focused on what the country and nation expect from you. First and foremost is loyalty to the state of Pakistan and commitment to the constitutional role assigned to armed forces besides maintaining highest standards of training, adaptation to technology-driven modern outlook, discipline and moral values as enshrined in our ethos and rich military culture. You will here on embark upon an exciting yet challenging journey I must advise you to foster virtues of courage, character and competence. This commission demands from you the highest standards of personal and professional conduct and imposes on you an onerous responsibility to live up to the legacy of those who have served in the defense of motherland before you. It is none but you who will lead the world's best creed of devoted, spirited and selfless soldiers of this great army to success, who dread none but Allah. These brave men with unmatched motivation, love for Pakistan, courage and conviction will always be ready to even sacrifice their lives for the dignity and honor of our beloved country. You should all be proud of the fact that the sacrifices rendered by our valiant soldiers and officers in the line of duty stand unparalleled across the militaries of the world. To us, nothing is more sacred than the safety and security of our people and no duty is more binding than the defense of our motherland. We owe a lot to our nation, which has great expectations from you all. Go out now and deliver to the expectations of your nation 
in the best possible manner the army imbibes the vision of our great kaid signifying no distinction of caste color creed gender or geography our ideology is based on the tenets of islam and the golden principles of faith unity and discipline we are a peace loving nation and being one of the largest contributors of troops to the united nations peacekeeping missions is a testament to this fact as part of the state policy pakistan remains averse to block politics and the damaging effects of global power contestation we continue to believe in cooperative and harmonious coexistence with all countries especially our neighbors we also welcome recent regional engagements and peace overtures and hope that it will have positive impact on peace and tranquility in the region and beyond to this end in line with the golden principles of our religion we abhor conflict and consistent with our policy we want to share peace with all however let me be absolutely clear our effort for peace should never be taken as a sign of weakness history has proven that the complete nation and its armed forces have always stood together with all their might against any act of aggression alhamdulillah we have the will capacity and capability to protect our sovereignty and territorial integrity and we are all well aware of the ways and means to do it on behalf of the ranks and files of pakistan army i assure the people of pakistan that we are always ready and will never hesitate in rendering any and every sacrifice necessary for the defense of our sacred motherland as proud soldiers of the pakistan army we can neither be intimidated nor overawed by mere superiority in numbers and weapons or equipment and we firmly anchor our reliance in the promise of allah which is kam min fiyatin qalilatin ghalabat fiyatan kaseeratan bi iznillah and the translation reads how many times it happened that a smaller force vanquished a bigger force by the will of allah ladies and gentlemen let me highlight that a significant effort is being made by our adversaries to affect state and societal cohesion through multiple efforts as professional officers you will be armed and trained to fight against visible enemies however i am particularly concerned about information warfare unleashed from within from across the borders and beyond through self awareness you will have to delineate the blurring lines between perceptions and reality however despite all odds pakistan army is amongst few in the history which has salvaged peace from the jaws of terrorism through the rightful and collective efforts of the pakistani nation as a whole we have defeated organized terrorism as an existential threat but we are yet to overcome this scourge fully there is absolutely no space for spoilers of our great enterprise being a strong and proud sovereign nation we are alive to the internal and external threats and will never let any attempts of causing instability or acts of terrorism to permeate our society pakistan and its armed forces stand resolute to mitigate the challenges of today and tomorrow together with the support of this great nation 
we want to signal our enemies within and beyond the armed forces of pakistan will never shy away from any sacrifice to stabilize secure and safeguard the future of our next generations our message to those who know us well and even to those who don't that resolve and resilience remain the most significant attributes of our national fiber we shall never be surprised and will do what all it takes to keep internal and external threats at bay remember people are central to the unity of the state and our future as well as progress depends on internal cohesion democracy and constitutionalism our enemies are hell bent upon driving a wedge between our people and armed forces for their ulterior motives we will ensure that this bond is preserved and further solidified through selfless performance of the duties entrusted to us within the confines of the constitution of the islamic republic of pakistan ladies and gentlemen stability security and peace in afghanistan remains fundamental to our security pakistan's efforts to initiate and continuously support the peace process in afghanistan have been a manifestation of our desire of a peaceful economically integrated and a prosperous region no country in the world has been as hospitable to the afghan brethren as pakistan and we for the past four decades have hosted almost 5 million afghan refugees the pakistani nation has paid hugely in blood toil and treasure and earnestly seek for enduring peace and stability in afghanistan ladies and gentlemen most importantly let me highlight the plight of our kashmiri brethren in indian illegally occupied jammu and kashmir who are subjected to brutal state oppression under one of the heaviest military deployments in the world pakistan firmly stands with its kashmiri brethren in their historic struggle for basic human rights and their legitimate quest for the right to self determination as per the aspirations of the people of kashmir and the resolutions of the un security council the international community must realize that without a just and peaceful resolution of the kashmir issue regional peace will remain elusive forever the plight of innocent kashmiris being subjugated through blatant indian state oppression must end pakistan stands firmly with the indigenous struggle for freedom by the courageous kashmiris who have endured state oppression for decades and we will continue to provide political moral and diplomatic support to our kashmiri brothers dear cadets in the end i once again extend profound compliments to the courses being commissioned i wish you all success in military career and a prosperous future in your personal and family lives may allah grant you courage and wisdom to fulfill your responsibilities in a manner befitting of your role and reputation ameen Pakistan Army Zindabad Pakistan Bindabad